Hi everybody, it's time to rank 8-bit Nintendo games running on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Or a reasonable facsimile thereof. That's right, I've got a dendy. No. Wish I, had a, I wish I had a dendy. But. <laughs> anyway. Uh, you know, the color palette's just so much better on a on these these bootleg Famicoms of your all these modern Famic clones, they're too good. They need to be a little more busted, I say. Um We've got a, a fresh batch of games here uh to to get through that I am looking forward to looking at. There are a couple of games on this list. In fact, I'm gonna look at uh, you know, one, two, three. Three, four, there are, I'm going to say I got four games on my current list here that I'm not sure I've ever played. Um, or if I have, I don't, re I don't remember a, a, a damn thing about them. So that's always fun. And that's always, uh, you know, the, this is a journey of discovery, you know, if, if nothing else. And, and so discovering the quality of these games, uh, has, has been quite the ride. If you're just joining us. Our number one game currently, back from episode 23, is Bionic Commando, which is a fantastic game. Uh, and then we, as we, as we go through the, the list here, a couple of games here at the bottom that I don't know how, it, I don't know how anything could be worse than these. We'll see. But the Uncanny X-Men and Operation Secret Storm are both um, profoundly, profoundly bad video games. Uh, and I uh, suspect that most of these games will fall between those two extremes. I don't know that we're going to set any uh, tops or bottoms here. Well, you know, there's one game on this list that I'm unsure about that I... If it, Maybe this would end up being the worst game we've played. Who, uh, you know, we'll we'll find out. We'll find out together. Uh, let's see here. Uh, if you want to influence the list, you can. You can head over to patreon.com slash Jeff Gerstman and join the Gerstman Advisory Panel, which, uh, you know, you'll find some some posts for you where you can uh, comment some some games. I'm starting to try to build the episodes a little bit further out, uh, but it's it's hard to do that because... I always build too big of a list, and then so there's leftover from the previous week, and then I, well, I got to shuffle this balance of games and and all of that, and so. Uh, but I'm but I'm trying to. I've built a list of what I deem, and I'm not going to share the list because that would that would be defeat the purpose of what I think of as like the big games, meaning like games that could like anchor an episode, for example. Uh, and uh, using that to kind of say like, okay. This could be the this could be the one like known game in this batch, and then the rest are ridiculous. Um, so let's get to it. Here's the one. Here's the one I chose as a known game. Definitely, this this people have suggested this on the list uh, as well. You know, I'm not the only person to say, "Hey, what about what about this?" But uh, but here we go. It's Karnov. The Data the Data East Classic. The Data East Banger. Ochiwawa on the chat says, You got me playing Hide Light all week. Yeah. I ended up going back to Hide Light a couple of times as well. And I got a sword and shield, and I have one of the fairies now. And uh yeah. Yeah, man, Hyde lied. I have also started playing the original, like, PC 8000... 8001 version of Hyde lied. <laughs> and then I took a look at the MSX version of Hyde lied. And then I, like, well, what's Super Hyde lied like on the Genesis? I don't remember that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I spent... Spent some time over the course of the week looking at different hide lines. Uh, but enough about hide lied. We got Karnov. 
look with these uh, dragons. I guess these are, are these meant to be dragon statues. They kind of just look like, I mean, they're breathing fire. Statues do not breathe fire. In my experience. Karnov is a weird game <laughs> uh, in, in terms of just like what it offers you, the player, in terms of, uh, oh, geez, in terms of dying to this fucking smirking asshole statue throwing rocks at me. Dragon is really fucking with me. I don't. I don't think this dragon is normally here, except that I I took too long uh, to uh, to move. Okay, that is not something we can stand on. Look at that weird slow fall. Like, look at the, there's the jump, and then it's, it's like as soon as it realizes you're falling for real, it just like goes oh. Also, you can pick up the ladder. So I can move left and right on the D-pad to select these things in my inventory. And then I can hit the select button to use it, is basically how uh, all of that works. Fire sound effect is really, uh, something that'll try your patience. How about? I don't remember that being a, a, a massively terrible thing about the, about the game. The sound effect of, the, of you shooting. lose my ladder. Can I go in here? No. You may remember Karnov as the uh, boss at the end of the first level of Bad Dudes. And also, I guess the boss in what? Uh, Fighters History Dynamite, right? Like the, the, the like the end boss. More shoes. What do the shoes do? Let's find out. Oh, we jump so much higher now, dog. We're up here. I guess uh, that's, time is running low here, huh? Is that the... Oh, that's a great sound effect, too. Oh, jeez. Great, Karnov. Great. I'm not gonna say Karnov was a big deal, but Karnov seemed like a, uh... I don't know, like at the time, I, you know, this, this was originally in arcades, and something about Karnov seemed... like Karnov was going places, you know? Especially like over the years as he started showing up in additional games and stuff, but like, Karnov was... ever present, I guess? Is maybe the right way to say that? Get all these K's. Oh, 
what does that do? Looks like a coin of some kind. Oh, hey. I gotta get under him. I gotta get under him is the thing. I gotta get under him. I gotta get under the fish man when he jumps. The fish man, you know, Lawrence Fishburne. And the sound it makes when you hit the fish man is also a very abrasive. Like, this, this, I don't remember this game having, like, in, insanely abrasive sound effects. I'm gonna drop the audio on the game down a little bit for people. Let me know if this is not enough Karnov now. If you need more Karnov. Need more Karnov in my headphones. Where's my Karnov? K is for Karnov. Okay, can I wait? Man, I am. I should have seen what continue did in that scenario. Okay, Karnov can crouch. All right. That seems like a, a a crucial piece of all this. Ooh, there's another ball up there, but it's. it's if I get the shoes and then use the ladder, maybe I can get that ball. Oh, did the shoes run out or was that was that what that noise is? Fuck. Okay, we're going to reset. Because I want to get that ball. Because I want to shoot three fires instead of two. Because that's what I think that does. The shoes can run out, apparently. I thought if we had infinite shoes. Okay, we'll come over here. What did I... Wait. Why is this dragon here already? Leave me alone. Okay, there's the thing. Ladder. Oh, one. Hmm. That time I was able to get it without the shoes, so. Great. not going to bother with all this K. The ladder gave the game an air of mystery because there was always that feeling of like, well, if I went up, maybe there'd be secret stuff up there. I don't know. We'll get this K. All right, we're going to use whatever that is when we get to the boss. Ah, fucking fuckface, stupid. Shouldn't be hard. <laughs> this shouldn't be hard. Oh man. 
Yeah, I, re I remember the arcade version of this being a, a like a, a markedly better game. But also, I remember the arcade game being like more difficult than other stuff like that. But I, I don't know. It's it's been a while uh, since I've seen that version. But, you know, for the time, very interesting, like, use of an inventory and, and the way you use it is, uh, like, I guess clunky but innovative is maybe the... Now we've got a fun mask. Oh, but I can't use it, so it's just, I guess maybe that's... I don't know what that does. Maybe it shows you secret panels. Okay. That's how I want to travel. Like, like the, like Karnov and the rock are the only two guys that travel that way. Karnov fly. But I think between the, the you know, the, the weird inventory stuff and the... Oh, God! Oh, I can't make Karnov fly. But I have one wing for whenever that... Yeah. It's not a usable item. Ugh, Karnov's really feeling it today. Great. That went awesome. That went cool. That was real good. Okay. We're here now, I guess. Can't even get up. Oh, I apparently had to walk close to that door to get the enemies to appear. What a. Uh, oh, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a. Oh, you are spitting it. That was unpleasant. Crying lady. Okay, we got it. I knew it. I knew we were gonna have to kill it. Whatever it was. up there. But the mask doesn't have a number under it, so I'm guessing I can only hold one. Eh, let's find out. A lot of K up here. that guy's pet and then killed him. This 
these noises are insane. These noises are like, what the... This, the, the audio in this game is like someone circuit bent an Atari 2600. I can't believe how like fucked up the audio is in this game. It's like shocking. See, I wanted to try to put the ladder on top of this, but it won't let me. Like, how do I get that stuff? I was trying to scroll when it didn't. Oh, maybe if I high jumped, maybe if I put the ladder down over there. Uh, if I put my thing down, flip it, and then reverse it, maybe I'll be able to get that power up. Yeah, that scrolling thing right there is, uh, is, is a killer. That is fucking rock was shooting at me, man. And then it came alive. You saw it. You all saw it. What do we think? Down the hole? That looks like there'd be something there. Just more weird beeps. What's happening? Who can say? Really? I, I don't... I want to go in the hole. Uh, what a great K-hole we're in now. Uh, this K-hole I'm in makes me want to... Go be racist on the internet and make really terrible fucking electric cars. Unleashing the hottest fire. Yeah, what now? Gonna need all these lives, gonna need all this K.
If you get enough K, you can get a shield! It's weird that, like, most of these items are not usable, and then the shield's all the way over there saying, Hi! Oh, God. Ugh. It's hard to then... Like, managing the inventory in the middle of a fight is terrible. <laughs> it's kind of the problem. I can't okay yeah I can I can pause and, and do it okay good I was gonna say like that would be a, a good solution to that problem I probably can't hold multiple shields huh all we wanted to do. I should use the shield. That's the other thing. I should probably use the shield to... Oh, man. A boomerang. That seems like it would be cool to have. Is it faster? It might be fa You know what? I get a lot of K going this way. You know, a little extra life here and there. fire here. Okay. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a good boomerang. It's really high-powered fucking boomerang, man. We just like jump in the right spot and it's like here I have some bombs. What was that? What's wearing off? I don't know what that great that the the audio on the your shot is so bad too because like the way the game spawns enemies it feels like it behooves you to just always be dumping that bomb worked out great 
It's meant to be like just a little peek. Like, hey, there's some stuff down there. Oh, no. I'm going to say this is probably the deepest I have ever played into Karnov. That seems like something is... Well... Let's jump on it and find out. Okay. Ah, uh, you. one in there. Just muscle men falling from the air. It's raining men. Not for long it isn't, says Karnov. Oh, God! Get me out of here! Me on this ladder, you piece of garbage. And maybe going up is the is the right way to go there. These bats are not exactly friendly. Hmm. Only go back so far. Sorry, we unloaded all of that stuff. We don't know what's back there anymore. The game forgot. Ah, did, did. Uh. Shit. Come on, Karnov. Get it together. Let's try one more. Then we'll move on. This game is cool. <laughs> is this game great? No. Does this game does this game uh, have some ear splitting audio? Yes. Is Karnov cool? Damn right he is. My dragon radar going off. Apparently, we can't even hit the birds until they're in motion. Oh, that's this is a fucked up placement. That's a fucked up placement for the rock man. Oh, God. I accidentally hit the space bar. I got to move this control the keyboard out of the way. Or disable that hotkey, because that's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> I like that the ladders are bad! Here, we're giving you these creepy hoppy men, and then also, it's hard to get on the ladder. <laughs> what a fucking... What a winning combination. Ugh. Uh, 
There we go. These bats just come forever, right? Eh, not those ones. bats, okay? Okay, what are we going to do here? I'll try the boomerang. Uh, she just keeps coming. Oh, the ladder. Yeah, I guess if I yeah if I dropped the ladder, I'd be able to climb up the ladder and and be at the right height and then probably jump over her. That that'd be the because it's it seems like she's too tall even for those shoes. Karnov. Whew. What a ride. I like Karnov. I, I love Karnov. But Karnov, the video game. Mm. Ah. <laughs> um... I, it, it's, uh, I, again, I, I think the, the way it, it even has an inventory is really fascinating. I think it, it's, that's a really cool idea. They were smart to think of like, oh yeah, you can pause the game and still use your inventory in case you're in a bind in the middle of a fight. I think that's, if it hadn't had that, like that's them thinking that's them, you know, that probably didn't happen automatically, right? They probably came up with that. I mean, that inventory system existed in arcades. And so when they were porting at home, they probably thought like, oh, well, what if you could just do this when you pause the game? That would be rad, wouldn't it? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that is rad. Or does the arcade, ha the arcade has the inventory, doesn't it? Or does it? It's been a long time since I've played it. But yeah, it has all that stuff. It does have all that stuff. Um, and so being able to pause it, I think that's a smart idea. Um... It sounds terrible. I love the music. I think the music is. I think the music when you die. The that's that's a high that's some high quality audio right there. But uh, everything when you shoot, everything when you hit a boss, like all of those sound effects are really, really terrible. Like shockingly so. You're like I this I don't remember. I don't remember that aspect of the game being that bad. That's uh disappointing. Uh, and there's just aspects of moving the character that are funky, you know, like trying to, to line up with some of those ladders to climb up and down doesn't feel good. Even the ladders you plop down yourself, sometimes it feels like it's not lining up right. Uh, and, and that's unfortunate, you know, uh, the, the movement is just a, a little, if the, if the movement was smoother, I, th I think that would go a long way. If the audio was better. If the movement was smoother and the audio was better, I think like Karnov would probably be talked about in a much different way than it is. But I, I feel like, I don't know, I, maybe this is just me, but I have always had a quiet respect for Karnov. I was always like, oh, that, yeah, that game, Karnov, yeah, that, that's a, that's a good-ass game. You know what? I stand by that. Karnov is cool. It's just, uh, you know, rough. Rough, rough, rough in a few too many spots. Uh, but where does that put it on our list? Surely Karnov is better than Deadly Towers. Karnov is better than Captain Skyhawk. The, the game that started it all. Uh... Karnov is better than bases loaded.
Karnov is better than rescue the embassy mission. That's for sure. Uh, I think Karnov is, uh, scientifically speaking, better than urban champion. Hmm. Hmm. Is Karnov better than low G man, the low gravity man? Huh. Hmm. I think we've got a bracket here forming. And it looks like that. Karnov is not as good as Double Dragon. Karnov is better than Kid Icarus. Karnov is better than low G man. Karnov is superior to muscle tag team match. Karnov is better than Kabuki quantum fighter. But it's no it's no double dribble at the end of the day. And thus That's 34. Episode th yes, episode 34. <laughs> Notion is a terrible piece of software, but I also installed Obsidian, which some people use as an alternative to Notion, and it's not. It's not better in the ways I want it to be better. There you have it. Karnov, our new number 45. A top 50 game. Karnov. I, yeah. Fucking Karnov, man. What a cool dude. And then you, you know, then you see him, you know, like a year later or whatever it ends up being when bad dudes come out came out and you're like, man, Karnov is the end boss in the first level of fucking, they never say it's Karnov, but you're like, look at that dude. I'm, that's the music. That's, that's Karnov. And then to have Karnov show up in a fighting game years later, uh, was amazing as well. Karnov is, is the, he's the, he's the ultimate underdog. Karnov's revenge. Yeah, they call it, yeah, even in Japan, they refer to it as Karnov's Revenge, a little fighter, what, a fighter's history dynamite, right? The second game. Oh, Karnov. I love Karnov. I'm glad that Karnov is still a, a playable game. <laughs> I was going to be sad if after all these years, like, oh, Karnov has gone spoiled. Karnov went bad. I didn't realize we we're doing back to back Data East. Uh, well, Data East home releases. I mean, this is this was not a Data East game in arcades. This is a little game uh, brought to us by Lasandis, who suggested this, and it's called Rampage. From your friends at Midway. Classic, classic, classic arcade game. Um... Let's see how it is here at home. This is, seems like a game that I probably would have rented at some point. It doesn't have, what, Ralph? Is Ralph the third? It doesn't, it's missing. Oh, great. Let's jump on this bridge and see if it breaks. Whoa. The jump always moves forward. That's not right. I don't think. I think you're supposed to be able to just jump straight up. Ugh. 
this, uh... Boy, oh boy. Why am I not able to punch as much as it seems like I should be able to? Like, it feels like, I, you know, areas that I should be able to punch and break stuff, it feels like sometimes that's not happening. And the, the, the punching in the arcade version is a very, like, you can kind of mash the button a little bit. This feels like you have to very be very deliberate with your punches in a way that sort of sucks. Also, the audio and everything is really, like, there's no do 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 like, but, you know, some... Like, it feels like I have to hold the button down after the animation finishes just to, like, why, you know, why is that not doing damage? Apparently I'm dead. That's okay. This sucks. See, look at that. Like, it's it's just not... The punching is, is really terrible. Like, the, the building destruction stuff feels so bad. Why? This is a... Like, even just lining up to eat this turkey seem, is taking more uh, effort than it, it should. Like, destroying these buildings should be, like, something that you're just kind of, like, able to do fast and boom, boom, boom. As you, as you slowly crawl your way down the building and each punch does a little bit of damage. But this isn't... This feels like they didn't have the fidelity to do that level of damage and so they made it so it doesn't take as much damage to bring down a building because there's not as many punchable spots on the building. These buildings are not as punchable as they should be. Yeah, this is yucky. This is this is this is not a this is not a good version of this game. Bank. Music's real bad too. This is that, uh, yeah. What did, mm. This feels like shit. The I, I'm I'm shocked. A lot of turkeys in these buildings.
Ugh. Fucking pick up the thing, you piece of shit. This sucks, dude. This is the... I th I'm dis I'm like increasingly disgusted by this game. I don't want to play this anymore. This is such a shitty thing. It's just it it, it comes down to feel, right? You you want to feel like you're hitting the button and something is happening. And it's bad at that. It's real bad at that. Like, this is recognizable for sure as, hey, check it out. Uh, here, here it is. It's Rampage. Like, you know, it has some of the basic mechanics of that game, but it feels terrible. What a miserable... Yeah. Ugh. All right, Burbank. Small buildings in Burbank, apparently. No, jump off. Hmm. There's a lady. Can we pick up the lady? Does it have that? Oh. Uh. This, this seems to be built in such a way that when the bomb guy is like leaves the screen oh I just ate her but as soon as the bomb guy leaves the screen meaning as soon as you eat him or as soon as he walks off screen that's when his bomb goes off I don't remember if it was that way in the arcade or if it was like timed Oh, what do we got a little... Thanks for that. Reno! These buildings look a little tall for Reno. You were supposed to be able to pick up a lady and then you earn a bunch of points by just holding her for a while. Uh, but not all of the home versions uh, had that mechanic in it. I want to say, was it a Commodore 64 port that I played way more of than anyone should? But it, it also was lacking in that specific way. What, did that cop shoot me and just take, like, half my health? Yeah, this is, uh... No good. This game's no good. That's a a disgusting version of that game that's like, i mean you know it's no tubin right like tubin sacrifices so much that it doesn't even it's, it's not even the same game anymore really like that is recognizable as rampage um rampage was not real big on music either so like that 
that music in there is kind of like I don't remember if Rampage even had music in the arcade. If it was, it was like very subtle, but like not in that way either. I don't know. Um, <sighs> so it's better than Tubin. You'd take it over Baby Boomer. You you would take it over Baby Boomer. And that's it. It feels unfinished. Like, that feels like a, a prototype for a game. They're like, oh, yeah, I mean, we're most of the way there. We're kind of in, you know, we're content complete. We just got to, you know, we got to put in more stuff. There you have it, Rampage, our new number 205. Rampage deserves better. Rampage was a great game. I mean, you know, it was like a weird quarter sucking thing. Like it's just a like conceptually weird game in arcades. It is kind of um, evil in some ways as to how much money they want you to pump into it to, uh, to really play it for a long, long, long time. Uh, but it was cool. You know, it was like three players that you do, you know, like the, like punching the buildings felt good. Jumping off the buildings and, and catching another building in midair and some of that other stuff. Like that, that all felt pretty good. This is missing most of that. Next up. A game I've certainly heard of a lot, but I don't really know much of anything about it. This one comes to us from one virtual Balboa who uh, suggested this one and it is called uh, monster in my pocket, you know, pocket monsters. I'm going to play as a squirtle. Okay. You want to be vampire or monster? I'm thinking vampire. They live forever. Show's already good. Just dude with like low guile hair, a nice low guile. Just comes on the TV and laughs at you. I would watch that show. On my Konami brand television. Come on, warlock. We will beat you. Okay, so is he is he the warlock then? Monsters in my house? Wait. This is not what was advertised. Okay. Look at that big radio. It's huge! I mean, my question immediately is, is this a, an item that I need to unlock a door later? Or is it just cool for killing dudes?
Do we lose our key? Weird to have a vampire making Simon Belmont-esque damage noises. How the tables have turned. I should probably just stop, just stop jumping forward into the action and taking damage. Never mind, it's fine. Stop. Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We need some digital audio here. What should it sound like? Okay. Just put that in. Yeah, there is a bit of a double jump. A little bit of like, uh, oh, what can I stand on and what can't I stand on in these backgrounds? Can't go back. I thought maybe I could go back and get that health, but nope. Very confusing. Suddenly facing the other way. Also, that first boss had knives. These guys have axes. Like, it's... They're using Castlevania weapons against this vampire. It's fucked. What am I supposed to do? These are the weapons used to beat people like me. run away from me he will he will run in my direction I see ah no just use it again this is very playable while I wish that uh Dracula's attack range was a little bit better. It's fine. It's got a good arc on it, which makes it uh, handy at dealing with projectiles and stuff like that. So it's not these flying enemies, though. Oh, Jesus. They knew. I got to put two here. It was bad what we did back there. See, that's not something you could stand on. Neither is that. Oh, no. It's like jungle hunt in reverse over here.
Okay, apparently the water hurts as well. It's not just the dudes. At least you guys say two. Yeah. so crazy we couldn't have a background I get it oh Yeah, I think that's that's my if I had to kind of cite an issue with this game, it is that it is not always obvious what background items you can interact with. Also, it's very handy that anything that is traveling like this stops as soon as you get off and doesn't just leave you behind for dead. That's nice of them. I guess I'm supposed to jump over, like, get a couple of hits in and then jump out of the way. Sure. Oh, no! I was going to see if it allowed me to change characters here, but... neat. Looks nice. Uh, doesn't seem overly difficult, um, It seemed, but it just seems fair. You know, I don't know. Like, it, it would be a lot harder if it checkpointed you, and when you died, it was resetting you back somewhere else, but instead of just, it just goes, no, here you go. Come on back. Ah, 
that's that's the weirdest thing about this game is running off the screen to the left and then um and then appearing on the left side of the screen trying to, okay thrown up here huh <laughs> trying to drop kick me dog I want to see this slide yeah see you later doofus Fucking dummies. You absolute idiot. Hey, dumb shit. <laughs> Stupid. Wee! See you later. Goodbye, dickheads. Like, the, the attack also lingers out there long enough that I'm, I can hit multiple fast movers like this with a single attack in some situations, if they're, if they're clustered up appropriately. And that's kind of cool. It doesn't... You don't feel like you're caught out there because of the... Like, this is as fast as I can attack. But, uh, but you can you can get a lot done with that single attack. I gotta jump over that or if I can crouch. Gas. That's what I like to hear. Nice. I don't know. This game's pleasant, you know? Kind of a kid's game, I'm sure. You know, between the license and, and whatever else. But, like... Give me this big screw. Get this thing off me! I was like, there's a billion of them and they've run away. Get out of here, you. It's a good bit. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, I can't jump down to get that screw.
foreground objects. This game has it all. It's a good death animation. Just kind of despawns, teleports away. Kind of nice. Yeah, the, the parallax, like, the, the speed of all these scrolling objects seems off. Like, that bottom layer of ground is scrolling way too fast. All right. Ah, you tricked me. Ducking does not work there. I'm gonna have to double jump over her when she. Oh, you. Yeah, I wish the range on that was a little bit longer, just if only so I could just, like, get... Oh, I guess if I kind of bait her, she'll go at a different angle. But I have to be good to do that. Guessed right. Didn't do me that much good. Oh. A little higher pitch there. Last battle at Monster Mountain, really? Oh shit. Only I had a boomerang. I didn't know dinosaurs were so, uh, you know, vulnerable to boomerangs. Like, Karnov really taught us something today. That's a good little sequence there. Oh, God. Let's try one more continue. place to stand.
Okay, I guess it only comes together twice, so I can only count on it to kill those guys. This this thing's a real fuckface. Oh, and it's gonna come back around too. That's uh well. If you wanna hang back there as long as I don't stop moving. Okay, yeah, that's More hits than you would want to have to do to these flying assholes. Oh, oh! Thank you, and thank you. Serious. Music is serious now. Oh, is this a boss rush? opportunities to hear that great noise. Uh, what was the level 2 boss? I already forgot. Right, this jumping guy. Guys, just like, don't you want some of my crystal dust? And I'm like, don't get me wrong, I, I, I very much do, but. He's like, I've got monsters in my pocket too, it's an eight ball. And you're like, I, sir, I hope you have a great weekend, but I am not interested. Right. I did not learn how to fight this guy properly. And we're not going to start now. I assume I uh, maybe I can hit his arms and maybe I need to stand at the outside edge and fight those, but... So what's left? There's that Banshee thing, which is going to be a real pain in the ass. Uh, and then there's whatever this is. I forgot already. Oh, right. Like I brought my crane all the way into this weird castle. Uh, when I think about how uh, not great I am at these two bosses and uh, the number of lives I have remaining, this may be a problem. That's okay. Oh, the crane will hit you on its way in, okay? I thought it was just the dude.
If we just mash the down on the D-pad, it... All right, this asshole. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Okay, I gotta jump later if I wanna dodge that. Oh, okay. I thought I had one more life. I did not. I'm not going to do the boss rush again. Let's just see in case it in case it starts us right here, but I don't think it's going to. Okay. Let's uh see what uh Frank, I'm sorry, the monster is like real quick here. 91, pretty late. Pretty late. Okay. Not a huge difference. Let's see what the death animation looks like. Okay, pretty much the same. Okay, yeah, I mean... You know, not a not a Luigi situation. But we can still throw that key. And it makes a deeper noise when he gets hit. That's nice. That's a that's a nice game. Um seems like, you know, we got to the end of it there. Um or or real close. I don't know how many forms that guy has, and maybe there's some hidden seventh level, who knows? But um you know the the movement feels nice. The the, the attack range, it's a trade off, right? I mean, you know, the, like my initial reaction was, gosh, he's, the, it's such a short range, but it sticks out there longer 
than like the the animation that little flash sticks out there longer than you might think and so even in some jumping attacks and stuff i was able to like swing it while i'm falling and then the enemy crashed into it afterwards it's short a lot of games i, I you know like i don't know and there are a lot of there are a lot of short games if you're just kind of cruising through it i guess but uh But yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's that's cool. It, I'm not like you know. It's not like blow your socks off. Look at this amazing thing. But you look at it and you see the prog the progression, right? You see by 1991, some of the things they're they're doing uh, in some of their their later games, I suppose. Uh, Konami specifically, but I guess developers in general. Um, looks nice. Konami drums always uh, go uh, a long way. But uh, how how long of a way does it go? I suppose is the the actual question here. And it's better than Rampage. <laughs> we can start there. It's better than uh, Werewolf: The Last Warrior. It's certainly better than Hudson's Adventure Island. It's better than Kid Clown in Nightmare World. Scientifically speaking, you would take it over Galaxy 5000 Racing in the 51st Century. Uh, you'd take it over that NES port of Mule. Certainly take it over Micro Machines, Popeye. Hmm. Do you think it's better or worse than Dino Wars Destruction of Spondyloose? Which is a similar, you know, side-scrolling kind of thing. I suppose it's you know, in that game, you could play as dinosaurs. In this game, you punch the dinosaurs. I don't know. Mm. I guess the science says that uh, it's better than that. So we'll move forward. It's better than Solstice, the quest for the staff of Demnos. It's better than Eight Eyes, a game I found myself playing a little bit of last night and going, what am I doing with my life? Um, you take it over this uh, port of Donkey Kong. It's better than Schoon. It's better than Wizards and Warriors. Uh, it's better than Rambo, though perhaps it is less ambitious than both of those games. In some ways, because it is just a simple side scroller or or what have you. Whereas Rambo is a uh, Rambo is like it's like it's real, man. Rambo really happened. Uh, that's better than Clash of Demon Head. It's, uh, yeah, it's better than Shadow of the Ninja. I feel like we're kind of... We're finding it. We're finding it. It's better than Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. It's better than Crazy Creatures. Uh, it's better than Zombie Nation. I would say it's okay. Actually, this is kind of the this is kind of the zone here. Really, it's better than Gyrus. It's better than Bucky O'Hare. Huh. Mm-hmm. What are we really looking at here? It's no Xanak. Uh, it's not as good as Kickmaster. It's not as good as Chippendale Rescue Rangers, but that's not... I, you'd, you'd take Dragon Warrior 1 here. Is it better than Double Dragon? I don't, you know, I don't know that it is. I, you know, Double Dragon, it's easy to shit on Double Dragon because it is such a weird port of the game. 
It's no double dribble. Is it better or worse than Karnov? I think you take Karnov here. I think you take Karnov here, but it is close. Uh, it's better than low G man, the low gravity man. That's yeah, that's weird. You know, it's it's weird to have a couple of games slot in right next to each other in the same episode, but that's just how it goes sometimes. It is better than Kabuki Quantum Fighter. Hmm. Huh. And so that leaves us with another game that has entered the top 50. Where did it go? Did it not? Did I not paste? Oh, obsessor. Notion. Notion doing it to him. I'll go back to simple note at this point. I don't even care. Uh, there we have it. Monster in my pocket, the new number 46. That's a that's a fun surprise. That's a fun surprise. Like, hey, look at this thing. By 91, I was not at all interested in what was happening uh, on the NES. That was years into the Genesis. And, uh, you know, that was like... Getting ready, I guess, for the SNES or just about SNES and, and the Notepad++ is a great application and people are suggesting Note apps now that I'm bitching about uh, Notion, but I need something that syncs to phones and, and a lot of other stuff like that. So Obsidian, you can get that, but you have to pay them a monthly fee for it. Notion does it for free, but Notion comes with a bunch of other bullshit. Uh, simple note will do it. Simple note will do it for free. Um, but simple note is, you know, these, uh, anyway, separate conversation. All right. Why don't we go, uh, we'll, we'll follow up on this from, from last week because they're two separate games. Though the suggestion was to play the combo cart, Sesame Street, ABC, and 1, 2, 3. We played Sesame Street, ABC. And now, we'll check out Sesame Street, 1, 2, 3. Ernie's Magic Shapes. <coughs> How do we play? All right, that doesn't matter. Okay, oh. Okay, now we know how to play. Match the shapes. Yay, we did it.
Does this end? I mean, the, the, the letter one eventually ended. That was a little underwhelming in the ending, you know, in the, the letters game, eventually the bell would ring, you know, and you would, you would have like a, a bit of a winning animation of sorts. Match the color. I think we're good on that. Uh, zip zap the shapes is what it said there. Okay. So I guess we need one of those. Are we trying to make this whole shape? This like bad cherry that they've kind of made here. Well, we don't need one of those. We don't need one of those. Let's let's pick the wrong thing. Oh, it won't even... It won't even go. Oh, the rabbit just comes out and is like, Fucking no, idiot. What, you fucking stupid? Nah, son. And then Ernie's just like, I'm dressed up like a magician. I like to take baths. You want to take a bath with me? No, I do not, Ernie. Just need one more ball. Kind of tedious building the whole shape like that. No. Poof pop the colors. More color matching. That's ah, more color matching. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck? This is also color and shape matching, right? I mean, I'm making this hot number four here. Uh, see, I thought that color was one of the colors up there, so... So much for accessibility, Sesame Street. Motherfuckers. Back when I used to take it, we called it E. Now they call it X. Can you say X? Harder shape matching. Hardest of all. Farm Bert.
Okay, so we need to reset the game if we want to get out of Ernie's magic shapes. And play a little Astro Grover. How many zips? <laughs> Grover gonna get you right with 36 zips. If you need zips, go see Grover on Sesame Street. I guess. Uh, all right, what are we doing? I'm guessing we're going with two here. Okay. Not seeing a lot of Grover in this. The moon is dissatisfied with my performance. We've restored half of that house from what is the the the, the, the logic here on us I guess saving the planet by preventing these aliens from stealing the houses or the houses are already stolen. So what do, This is how it happened. Uh, this is disclosure that's happening right here. This is how the Earth was made. Aliens came. We counted them, uh, and they, in turn, gave us the, the world. They built all the houses and everything. We were born as adults. Like uh, The humanity is, is, as much as you have memories that maybe go, feel like they go back years and years, the human race is actually nine minutes old. It's true. A lot of two and six here. Yeah, just give me that whole house. Don't give me half of it. Just go. We're done. And then the bombs drop and blow up all of this civilization. Hey, Grover decided to finally show up, lazy ass. Grover's like, congratulations. How many zips do you need? Can you handle that many zips? I, I don't... Grover does not work on consignment. If you want these zips... Beam that number. We got zips. We got beams. Nope, that's too many. That's way too many. Are you crazy? Charge it to the triple beam, says Grover. I 
Are we, are we like taking these aliens and turning them into fuel for our spaceship? Let's pick this one. Rover's like, nah, man, come on. You're terraforming. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Ron Silver is going to come out. Aliens are going to show up. Their legs are going to bend the wrong way. You're going to be real fucking freaked out. I just want to see this thing get to space, man. You're just embarrassing yourself. That's zero. I don't. What, what are we? What are we doing? Anyway, you too can take this free personality test and see if uh, you needed further auditing from uh, Space Grover. Adding countdown. Let's look at it. I think mechanically these are a little clunky, to be honest. Uh, that's looking like one. We're going to call that two. No? What? Oh, that's just another one? Okay. Because of the way the UI works, I have to go all the way over and back again. All right, we're not we're not making that city reappear again. Take it away, Zips. Going to Debo our perimeter. Rocks roll better than powder, says Richie Rich. Okay. Some up, some down. From the makers of Grovers at the Point. Some up, some down. We need three. Got it. Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously none of it's difficult, but like this one, this game in particular, there was sort of like a, wait, what are you asking me to do here? Like, it's not immediately clear. I mean, I guess it could have gone four and then one and then one, right? What happened when we hit this? Uh-oh. Who's that guy? Uh-huh. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would let us use three numbers or if it was only going to allow five plus one there. But it does, indeed.
That's Astro Grover. That's this, that's this whole thing from the looks of it. I don't know. It, this is, uh... It, it lacks the... Like the weird pipe, uh, pipe dream style thing that was in Sesame Street ABC was like kind of a cool thing that felt like a little bit more than anything that's in this. Uh, Magic Shapes is pretty dire, I would say, by comparison to Astro Grover. Mostly, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I think Rare did a, a, a decent job on that thing, all told. But where did the other one end up? Oh. Did it somehow not get finished? Like, how, why, did, why did that happen? Let's fix that on the master sheet here. So I, I think Sesame Street 1, 2, 3 is actually worse than ABC because of the pipe dream kind of cool thing it had. Um, but I would still rather play... Eh, is Casino Kid better than Sesame Street ABC? No. Fuck Casino Kid. Straight up. Okay, so you have it. If you're picking one, I'd say get uh, ABC. But they also sold these in a combo cart with ABC and 1, 2, 3 together. With all four games in one thing, which is, uh, that's, that's just value right there, baby. But much like we're not going to rank, uh, you know, the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cartridge. Um, we're not going to, we're not going to go and rank that separately. Fandel brings us our next game. I don't know what I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But it's called Totally Rad. And I've apparently played it before because I have an achievement in it. So like, Jake, is this Zeb dude for real? Will he teach you his totally rad magic? He thinks I have gnarly potential. And I think he's totally decent. Oh, he's hella dece? All right. Oh shit. He's fully dece. Like, all of this looks familiar now, but I... Zeb, what's with all the jogging? Can I just learn magic and skip the aerobics? <laughs> this fucking guy. Don't... Yeah, there are the first things to go. This guy doesn't even have legs. Sounds righteous, dude, but I'm pooped. Sha, don't be a wimp, Jake. Cute, Allison, real cute. Oh! Hey! Zap. Jake has been attacked by surprise. What? Wait, what? Okay, yeah. Yeah. All 
All right, we cannot shoot up. I don't make that jump all the way. It's, it slides me back down. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick and handle that before we get totally rad. Okay. Well, it appear I have some abilities here. Oh, I have even more. Let's look and see here. Bryn has pasted the manual you know, on the Discord here. Damage, shield. Okay, I thought that would have been a, like a high jump or something like that. Eagle transforms you into an eagle. Okay. Would that not have... I would have thought that that would have recovered my life if I cast it, but... There we go. Wait, can I not, can I not jump and have? Okay. 
You cannot char jump and, and release a charge shot because... Because this game sucks, apparently. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Ah! Alright, let's try... Oh. Oh, I see. Zeb! I'm a furry now! Jake, they're, like, stealing me or something. Help. For sure. Evil circus music. Oh, I can't heal. Uh, do I have to turn back into the dude? Slow down here, huh? This is a very like uh like it, it, it's it's cool that you have these abilities right but the the the, the way you navigate it, it you know like what what else are you, what else are you gonna do on a controller with two buttons i guess but uh this would be less annoying to play on a controller with like shoulder buttons where you could like toggle between magic spells from there or something you know What the f- are you- Messing with me, man?
This music's all right. It's... It's dumb, but... Giant corn man? This is a giant corn man. With a billion health. Ah. Why am I fight? Why? Oh, fuck this. Fuck this, fuck you. Fuck this game. this game. <laughs> this is like not a short level either. It like, I don't... I don't want to do this again. Like the, the level part of this level was not fun. This is a game with ideas that I, I don't, that I no longer wish to engage with. I'm guessing, like, I, I haven't seen any pickups at all either in terms of, like, hey, uh, let me get more magic so that I can cast more spells. You know, it would make sense if it didn't have health pickups because you've got healing spells, but, like, it'd be, I don't know, well, I guess if you could just uh, cast all your magic. Like, it, it's, it's relatively generous, I guess I would say. I feel like I haven't run out of it.
Okay, so we've got our heal on. Right. Ah, Corn Man. I don't like the Corn Man. I don't this this game is like Um, what is this? What what song is this ripping off? I missed that whole I missed everything he was telling me because I was trying to figure out what that what that music was. Was it Baker Street? Yeah, maybe. Uh, huh. Yeah, I guess it kind of was, wasn't it? Weird. Ah! More creepy fuckers. This is a game full of creep. This game is, um... I'm going to say between the Corn Man and uh, some of the transformations... This game is just fetish material. I like the look of these thrusting fountains. It's just... Oh, I took my eye off the life meter. Won't let me pause or heal. Thank you. 
This game is uh, frustrating. Like it's it's this game is annoying. I would say. I wonder if I can just fly up. shoots. What else can we turn into? A fish? Fish, lion, eagle. There's some other spells like fire and stone and water that do damage to enemies on the screen. And then uh, you can stop time and recover life. Yeah, why can't I uh, get equipped with corn man? Well, at least we got to see the fish man. I mean, obviously there's no water here, so. But I just wanted to see it. Because I have a feeling we're nearing the end of our time with Totally Rad. Uh, this game is not without merit. Uh, the checkpoint stuff Annoying. Annoying. The way you interact with the spell system is also a little uh, tedious, I guess I would say. But it has a, you know, I don't know, like it's got a decent look to it, at least. There's definitely ambition here, uh, for sure, and, and and that's kind of cool. But I think there are just maybe a, a couple too many aspects of this that are uh, frustrating to engage with. <laughs> Though this guy's fucking face... You want another chance? <laughs> I do not. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, this game is a nightmare. I don't know. Like I said, it's somewhere between a nightmare and fetish material, which. has value for sure. This creepy fucking dude's face. <laughs> Most excellent dude. I like that they clearly took a game that would not have had any of that lingo in it and built the entire game around it. They went in on the localization. It's like, no, we're going to call the game totally rad. Everyone's going to talk like fucking Valley Girls. And, um, that's our, that's our idea. We're going to, and we're going to put it out. I don't know. That's going to help it sell 
it's going to attract a bigger audience. I wonder if that helped. You know, did, did that help? If they had just called it, well, they couldn't call it Magic John, which is the, the Japanese name. Now, see, what if they had called it Magic Johnson and they had went and got Magic Johnson uh, to be the lead character? And then put and then done, and then done that. What if what if Magic Johnson was the the magician? What if Magic Johnson was like, no, yeah, you get out there. You do you know magic? I, here, this is how you do magic. Why do you think they call me Magic Johnson? Let's get out to the circus. Magic Johnson was everywhere in the news around then. Would have been perfect. Totally rad. Not a total bummer, but um, just too many things chipping away at it, ultimately, to feel like a game you would like recommend to someone. Well, it's the sort of thing like you recommend to someone to be like, yeah, just cheat. You know, don't, you, you know, save state. You're like scumbag your way through this game um, because the checkpoints are bad or, or, or whatever like that. That would be the way to play this game. <laughs> Playing it normally. Just kind of, yeah, all over the place. And the transformations are interesting, but like not, yeah. I don't, I don't think it would have killed you to be able to heal while you were in, um, you know, your, your animal forms. I don't think that would have killed the game. To just allow that. You know, like, this is a game that I think really could have gone either way. With some relatively minor changes to make it just feel a little bit better. Because there's, there's aspects that, you know, obviously, like, there's sort of a Mega Man quality to it in terms of the life meter placement, but the, you know, charge up attacks and, and having alternate attacks that you can transform into and stuff like there, there's sort of, you know, that, um, that inspiration at the core of this, but it's just not good. I feel like we've had a, a really bad run of, of like not mega man games between that. And, um, is it the cryon conquest? Is that the one with the witch? Is that that? Uh, which is right here. I think this game is better than that one. Scientifically speaking. Uh, this is better than Star Wars. It's better than Ghoul School. This is better than bad dudes. This is kind of, this is in Yo Noid territory, but honestly, I don't know that I, I think it is not as good as Yo Noid. And the science would agree there. Um, this is better than Bomberman 1. And let's think about it some more here. Mm. Totally rad is better than that bad port of bad dudes. It is it is better than is it's uh, It's better uh, Yeah, no, it's It's not better it's not better than Hudson's Adventure Island. Which is maybe a damning thing to say. No, no, it, it it is this this you know thinking back thinking through Hudson's Adventure Island, uh, totally rad is a better game. It's a better game than Dick Tracy. 
It's a better game than that shitty Rainbow Islands port. <laughs> uh, it's not as good as the Karate Kid. It's not as good as Krusty's Funhouse. Well, it's it's you know it, again I gotta I gotta re re remember that the NES version of Krusty's Funhouse is like worse scientifically speaking than those 16-bit versions which were fine um but if we let the science talk totally rad is a better game than rainbow islands hmm But it's no Jurassic Park. That, that's a game that I, I feel like could have gone a lot higher on the list. You know, in, in, a, in a different situation. Or, or with like relatively minor changes. To make it ever so slightly friendlier. I think Totally Rad could have done a lot better. You know, that's, that's the sort of thing that's like, oh, well, you know, if, if, if the checkpointing had been a little bit better, if the, the magic use was a little, you know, different, you know, run speed or like if it had a slide or, you know, just like a few, like a, maybe like a one or two mobility changes, I think would have, would have helped a lot as well. Like it's close, like it's close to having something, but, um, But it just doesn't quite pull it all together. Yes, this yes, uh, V Nakamura in the Discord actually. This, this is the song I was thinking of is the El Ritmo Tropical, which you may remember as. I'll pl I'll play a little bit of here. Uh, that's the yes, which you may remember as it's the song from the gay bar in the Police Academy films. As well as being a fucking banger in DDR. Um, hmm. Yeah, totally rad. Totally rad. Tim recommends the next game. And it's uh, from your friends at Capcom. Mickey Mouse Capade, or Mickey Mouse, depending on if you want to read the box. Okay, let's start it up. To Funhouse. until it starts moving? Yeah. That's dirty. Key. 
Well, we needed a key downstairs, didn't we? But I guess let's go over here, you know, since we're at the, the top floor, seemingly. Let's smoke these snakes. Get that hot diamond. I screwed that up. How much invisible shit did you- Oh, Jesus! Shots just go right through these guys. This doesn't. Feel, uh, this, this is a. This is a strange game. <laughs> Oh, I thought there was something hidden there. What the fuck? That's devious. This game is... I guessed wrong on that one. Amount of like bullshit. See, okay, let's do it again. I guess. Let's try the top one this time. Fuck you. Go in the bonus room again. Let's do let's go in the bonus room again. Surely it's gonna be the top one this time. I'm going to jump out a window. Good. Oh, you and you put me back here? No, no. Okay, this is okay. We're in the right spot. Or 
we're in the spot where we were. I don't know. You <laughs> son of a bitch. That's <laughs> this game. Uh, that's where the. Okay. No, what? I. Is this where that dude was? Okay, no. Well, we already had stars. Now we have stars. There was a kind of rural... Uh, uh, video rental store. Store. Called, I believe it was called Star Video would make sense. Wait, I'm here again. No. And they had a sign out front. And it said, we put the stars in your VCRs. That's all. Uh, it's going to teleport me all the way back to that other... Okay. say I'm beginning to really hate this game. <laughs> I got a key earlier, so can I go back to the beginning of the level where it said key? That was over here, right? I don't have... Okay, okay. Apparently, I don't have a key.
Oh, hey, look at that. All right, we got a key. Now we get to see if this game is got some like, I can't leave without my pal Superfly type action in it or not. Like, I kind of control Mini, but kind of not. <laughs> this is a fucking weird video game. <laughs> Can't kill the spider till it's active. Everyone knows that. Wait, is there another bonus room, even though I have... Gone now. Oh. I want to go to sleep. Forever. game around like some just shit hidden shoot it and like have it be such a Millen's secret castle does it with more grace than this fucking thing Do 
Do I need to start picking different stuff? Does the statue move or not? Does it change or not? I don't know. We may never know. At this rate. Last time we got her, it was the bottom right one. That time it probably was the bottom right one. Almost the Mickey Mouse theme in a couple of spots, but not. That was fun. That was a good time. Uh, this is a game not built to have this level of platforming in it. Now that's a level for a video game. That's what I'm saying. No, don't shoot the thing. They'll just take her. Don't, if you find a secret, run away from it. Because then you'll have to find a billion more of them. Start! Motherfucker, this better be the end! Or did it loop around? That's my question. Is Did I miss something? Oh, we can go in the doors. That's... Ah. nearly as much cake in this level. Alright, this is a different color palette, right? Okay. If you liked the levels in Mario 1 where it was a maze and it was kind of shitty, might I recommend the forest level from this fucking piece of garbage? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> All right, Mickey Mouse Capade. You know, there are good Mickey Mouse games. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought that they were going to steal my lady again. Okay, so it looks like there are only two doors before we hit the start sign again. It's not that door. I thought it was the second one. This time it's the first door. You know, if I was uh, a little less colorblind, these different color palettes would probably be a lot easier to deal with. What are they shooting at me? Is it shit? Mickey Mousecapade. I appreciate that not all of the levels are identical to one another, that it's not just like, here's another house or here's another house-like thing and you're running around looking for a key and dealing with this same bullshit. Like, I appreciate that when you get to level two, it's a much more straightforward level. Maybe should have started with that one and then had the funhouse thing later maybe but um it sucks to play movement's not great the uh your attack is uh frustratingly annoying um that whole thing with mini mouse in that first level is uh, dog shit from a scientific standpoint. And then when it gets straightforward, it's not like that's a great game. But by comparison, it's night and day. You're like, man, level the second level of this game's great. It's third level. This is, I'll take this forest maze any day of the week over the fucking fun house, but only, that's only because it started with the fun house. Uh, oh, you ever feel the energy drink start to wear off and you're like, hmm. It's bedtime. Unfortunately, it's only one o'clock. All right. Uh, I think it's more that I just, I did not get enough sleep last night and no amount of caffeine can change that. Uh, this game is worse than Krusty's Funhouse. It is worse than Totally Rad. It's worse than Rainbow Islands. It's worse than Yonoid. I would rather play that than the Bugs Bunny birthday blowout. It's better than Defenders of Dinatron City. It's better than Star Wars. Uh, but it's no Renegade. It's better than Ghoul School.
Is it better than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Which is a piece of shit in its own right. <laughs> no, this is worse than that. But it's better than Ghoul School, so... I like it when games have different names on the box than, than it is on the title screen. Nothing says, I ah, fuck it, we just put it out, dog. Localized, yeah, yeah, localized this. Quite like a game that fires up to a title screen that just says Mickey Mouse. It's our new number, 191. Congratulations to Capcom and to Mickey Mouse and to the Disney Corporation for fighting off activist investors. Congratulations to Bob Iger for this honor. A top 200 NES game. Nice work. Nice work. That's going to do it for us here. Thanks everyone for joining us. We ended up with a couple of games that we didn't get to this time that I will, uh, we will likely see next time around. Those two games are Felix the Cat that Beckett wanted to see and Spiritual Warfare, which both Frederick and Chili Bus, among others, wanted to see. So we will, uh, we will probably look at those next week. And uh, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Felix, they just re-released Felix the Cat, which is weird. Um, that's going to do it. Head on over to YouTube. Uh, well, I, you know, you're probably watching this on YouTube. Ultimately, if we play the numbers game, more of you are likely to be seeing this on YouTube than on Twitch. Um, you can also find a video of me fucking around with Cheat Engine in some NES games and uh, and, and uh, some SNES games and, and even, or well, Cheat Engine and some modern games and messing around with emulator cheats. If you've ever wanted to learn how emulator cheats work and how you can just make them yourself, uh, that video will show you. It's on it's on the YouTube channel right now. I ran into a problem with Super Mario Brothers doing that one, trying to get infinite lives right there. And I, re I messed with it again last night and realized why. I was searching for the number three, thinking, well, you have three lives. But Mario Brothers, the first one, Super Mario Brothers, counts uh, the number of lives remaining. So when you first start the game, it's two. So you're looking for the number two. And then when you die, once it goes into one. And then when you have no lives remaining, that number is a zero. And so if you find that number and then just lock it at nine or FF, well, that'll break the game. At all, you'll, you will die immediately after, you will lose immediately after losing a life if you give it too many lives. That's a well known Mario one thing. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so that is uh, a little update on that. Also, the Atari 400 Mini, uh, that capture came out a little weird. So the audio in the video, the, the audio that people heard on stream is not quite as bad as the audio that I was hearing. The audio that I am hearing is still off. It is still not right, but it is not quite as stuttery as it was in the stream. A little programming note for you there. Uh, that's going to do it for us here. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next week for the podcast on Tuesday. Take care of yourselves.